last season we finished fourth in the league and towards the end of the season the team was playing really well and so I'm feeling quite positive and I think we might have a good chance of getting promoted this season. So, so the team that we've got for this current season we've got um, a full squad of experienced players who've now played um, for at least ooh, three years is the is the, the one who's played the least has played for three years. Um, they are vastly experienced. They're all touch wood in good health. But we are looking forward to a really good season this year. The main thing is to talk all the time throughout the game, which is a thing we don't always do enough, but I tell them to, to just talk more and communicate with me and to make sure we stick to our game plan, which is usually a high press, which is our main tactic. So we press the ball quite high into the opponent's half, and that's our main game. Go for your dreams, be passionate. Everything that you do, put it into that game. All your anger, if you're angry with someone, put it into hitting that ball. Be excited by it, enjoy it, be thrilled by it. There's so many different things that you can experience through the football. And I think as we come into the season, we've just got to really go for it. We've got a really strong team this year. We're really passionate and I think we can reach the top level. They overcome so much adversity to be able to play the sport to be able to persevere within the sport, every single one of them's a champion. Every single one of them's a winner. Um, normally mid-season, because then you start to see whether we're being successful or we're gonna go down. And I think that's the hardest time, because once the boys start to realise and we're looking at the figures, then if we're going down, morale goes down and it's really trying to keep them upbeat and you're coming into a, a colder season it's not so nice going to football because football's in the winter so it's really trying to keep them on board mid-season once you pass that I think then if they accept it if they've gone down they just accept it and we're going to have a really good party at the end of the year but if we're going up then there's everything to fight for and that's fantastic and it's good for everybody you tend to get more spectators as well at that time of year so it's really exciting sort of as we're coming into the end of the season everybody's screaming at the top of their voices banging on the sides and that's that's just the mums <laughs> get involved come along give it a try we as a club as a hub never turn anybody away we've got spare chairs um, so just come along, get stuck in, give it a try, we'll coach you, we'll make sure you're safe uh, and we'll make sure that as far as is possible, if the sport is for you, that you enjoy it. It does look scary but I think with all the safety now it's much safer than it used to be. Like chairs used to tip but now it's unheard of. It doesn't happen because the new chairs are so low to the ground they physically can't. So it's a lot safer. So I would say give it a go. Because with me personally, football I didn't want to do when I was ill. Because I thought I couldn't do it. So I thought there's no point in liking football. But I think I was a bit in denial. But now I realise that I do. I'm obsessed with the game.